Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Fallout 76. So, new day, new recording. We're just going to jump right on into it. I did do a few things after the last recording. Um, I went and I sold some stuff uh, at the the Sutton Town, or the Sutton train station. So I went up here, and I sold some stuff that I had on my inventory. I also um, just moved some stuff around in my stash, and I uh, added some some lights into my little humble abode here. Because if you remember last episode, we needed to move our camp because we uh, we could no longer have it up here. It looks like we could have had it there this time around, but someone else had their camp up there, and we were unfortunately unable to have it there. So they let us move it for free, which was nice, but it was also kind of annoying because I liked the spot that we were at. This spot is okay, um, but realistically, we'll probably end up move. <clears throat> excuse me, we'll end up moving it, um, maybe down this way a little more once we start getting into Charleston and more of the ash heap. This is all the ash heap right here, so we'll probably move it a little bit farther down just because it'll reduce the cost of fast traveling. Take a little sip of my hot tea this morning. Um, so yeah, like I said, we're going to jump right on into it. So make sure you got your drinks, got some snacks, kick back and relax wherever you may be today. What we're going to do, um, we already went to Summersville. That was in last episode. So go back and check that out if you missed it. We are going to make our way this way around this little lake pond area. I guess it's a little lake. Uh, it's not big enough, or it's too big to be a pond. Um, we're going to make our way around this, down here, into Charleston. Because Charleston is right here, there's the Capitol building for Charleston, and then here is where we need to go to study Dr. Hudson's research. So that's the plan for today, I don't know how far we're going to make it, we might be able to get to Charleston. Um, but obviously, I never make any promises. Well, actually, I'd, I've made promises before, and then it doesn't end up going that way. So I'm on a new kick of trying not to set in stone anything. So we are going to switch here to our sniper. And we're not going to pass next to Summersville because we've already explored it. There's a nice little copper uh, vein here. Okay, there we go. Uh, we already explored uh, Summersville, and um, I can guarantee that the super mutants have already respawned there, so no reason to have to deal with them. Alright, what do we got? Any baddies there? Looks like we have uh, tin can chains by the door. But I think that's about it. So, we're going to swap over to our little SMG. Just in case. Let's see what we find. There's a screwdriver here. Got a hot tub with some teddy bears inside. Oh, I will take those. Open the door. What are these called? Chain chimes. Welcome. Make yourself at home. Drinks are on me. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Hey, why are there two projectrons and then a bunch of mannequins in here? I mean, they weren't wrong. There are drinks in here. Some vodka and stuff. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to inter intrude on you guys uh, there in bed. Anything up there? No, just another person. Another mannequin there. Uh, that's funny. Okay, not too much here. So this is just an unmarked location. We'll find a decent amount of them as we move through the game. That's funny. Okay. So let's keep on moving on. What is, is, that, a, is that a bomb? What is that? Yeah, it looks like it's a nuke. What? Oh no. Do we want to activate? Oh no. Should we do it?
Is he doing anything? I hit activate. Maybe it's a dud. Maybe I didn't hit it. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, that's what happens. <laughs> oh, okay. We have to cut a wire to do it. I don't know. Cut the red wire? Cut the red wire. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, so it wasn't the red wire. Okay, there is some radiation from it. So it was nuclear. I figured as much it was it would be, but that was kind of funny. I've never seen that before. <clears throat> Alright, enough messing around. We're on a mission today. With some iron, I will take all of that. So we're going to head up there first to discover that location. I'm just going to make my way around this sunken ship here. See what we got going on. That's a cool little speedboat there. Look at that little V8 in the back. Pretty cool. Yeah, this thing is... Yeah, no bueno for that guy. Alright, let's keep moving on. What is that? Oh, it's just a jet ski. Alright, so I'm going to switch back to my sniper here as we approach this location. I don't know what we're going to find up here. We're going to start with this little cabin first, and then we'll work our way, um, I guess, to the southwest over there. Right, let's actually switch back to the uh, SMG. Oh, claim workshop at Lakeside Cabins. So there is a workshop here, and we haven't touched on these before, so at least I don't think we have. So apologies if I have touched on it before, but we're going to go over it again. But workshops are um, communal, so... Basically, any person who is on this server could come up and claim the workshop. You have to clear out the enemies first, typically. And then, um, you just claim it. And it's it acts similar to how your camp would be. However, this one, you set it more up with defenses. You can be attacked by um, enemies as part of like little quests that pop up. Or events that pop up. Uh, you can be attacked by other players as well who want to claim your camp. And within the camp region, um, it becomes PvP. So even if you don't want to attack someone else, if you've claimed a workshop, you don't want to be fighting someone else. If you're within the workshop limits um, and they start shooting at you, it's automatically PvP. There's no um, like delay there's no like oh do you want to type situation it's your you're in pvp so i'm gonna be sipping on my hot tea here so pardon any any pauses or any slurps that you may hear i just did not feel like making coffee this morning so hot tea it was and we discovered lakeside cabins oh Toilet paper. Hubba hubba. Oh, there's an ammo box in there. Interesting. Some toilet paper. Alright. I'm actually going to change over to my fire axe here. We have a tinker's workbench right there. We got anyone in here? It's so weird, like coming through a place like this and not having enemies popping up. I'm sure there will be enemies, <clears throat> but uh, typically there are a lot more, I feel like, so. Nothing, okay. 
Keep on moving on. What is that? Oh, a clown outfit. We will definitely take that. But I think I already had one. I think I, yeah, I did have one early in our, our gameplay. I had a, a clown outfit and I wore it for one of the thumbnails. I remember that. All right. Oh, hey, there's a guy there. Hi, my guy. I'm okay, my guy. Thank you, though. I got stuff I gotta do. So. Um, we're going this way. Oh, there's a nice little picture here. Like cats have oh, so there are multiple cabins. Okay. There's the workshop there. So that's what you would have to claim. You'd have to clear out everyone here. Okay, I'm getting a little help here today. Oh, my guy, no, I'm okay. Thank you, though. I'm okay, though. I am a-okay. So, don't have too much here. We can go check the inside out. Yeah, I, I'm good, my guy. Okay, it looks like he already came through and he cleaned out most of this stuff, so. So we're not going to run into too many enemies. We ran into that guy, but um, let me see. I think, yeah, now that the enemies have been taken care of, you can claim the workshop here. Alright, what else do we have? Anything? So not too, too much stuff here. We'll go upstairs and we'll take a look. A nice little bedroom here. Amper, baseball glove, nah, nothing too crazy. Okay. Keep on moving to another room. Here's the bathroom. Nice shower. I give him that. And nothing, okay. Again, pretty much, uh, seems like it's been pretty much picked over by that guy. So, nothing against him. It happens. You know, you're on a, ooh, Lake House note. You're on a, um, multiplayer server, so it's gonna happen. I remember when Raj and I first moved here by the lake. It was so special. Now it's, now if, oh, now it's just a stinking, rotting, miss, miss, me, yeah, misma? Just like him. Oh, oh, okay, jeez. So she was obviously not feeling this, feeling so uh, lovey-dovey to whoever this Raj person is. Okay, we have a chemistry station back here. Let's scrap some stuff. Free up some of our, um, free up some of our inventory. <laughs> that didn't really help too much, did it? Oh, there's a fisherman's cap here. Quite nice. We have another hot tub here with a life preserver. Yeah, so the uh, works the workshop is right there. So you would just have to go over there and claim it once you have cleared out the enemies. Is there anything else around here? I don't think so. I think we're pretty good. So not too much to explore. There is that whole area right there. Um, but we're not going to jump into that today. This, that'll be for another day probably. So... But as you can see, this used to be a sprawling lake at one point. Now reduced to just a little stream running through the middle, so. And there's a story behind that. And I think it's already been touched upon, but I'm not going to dive too deep into it just right now. Because um, we'll get a little more info. Oh, that's so bright. At least on my end, that's so bright. Um, we'll get into a little more detail once we get to Charleston on what is going on with that. So, what is this? Is there some fertilizer? Oh, no, it's a chair. Well, why don't we equip our new hat? Peril. What, our fisherman's hat? Okay, I always hit that. Fisherman's hat. Let's see how we looking. Uh, no, I don't want to. 
Okay. I think we look pretty spiffy. Let's uh, let's go out here. We're gonna grab our thumbnail for the episode since we're here. So there's three. There might be one down there as well. But we're gonna get this one right here. Why not? All right, escape T. Okay. I need you, my guy. There we go. Perfect. All right, cool. Easy enough, and we move on. So we got, we hit most of them. There is another cabin right here down the way, because this was number two. And it's kind of cool, because they almost set it up so that uh, you have like a front gated area and you could close off more of this because this one does have a decent gate around it, which is interesting. So I'm curious, um, is this another one as well? Is this number one? This might be number one. Yeah, this is number one, so. Let's take a peek in here. Oh, the whole front door is gone here, okay. Ooh, we got some bones on the table. Some boiled water. I'll definitely take... Ooh, someone was cooking up some bones. Some human bones. What is this? Interesting. Okay. And then just some alcohol over there. We have our back porch here. Some wood. There's a chair. Uh, a bear. A bear what? Bear-proof trash can. Nothing in the outhouse except a newspaper for those who uh, want to take their time, I guess you could say. And then what is this? Oh, there's the lakeside cabin's uh, overall one. Maybe we'll actually get one of those. I think that would be pretty nice, right? Uh, escape T. Let's get you, my guy. It's kind of dark with the shadows. Let's see, can we increase the brightness? Ooh, that's a little too bright. Yeah, it's a, it's a little too dark um, with the shadows for that right now. I like the one that we got. I think that'll be a good, a good um. Thumbnail to use for this episode. So. Take a little sip of my tea here. Oh, we can already see some enemies down there. At least I can see them running around. Somerville Lake. So this is this was the lake, Somerville Lake. Did we already aggravate someone? There is a scorch down there. Alt to breathe. Uh. Oh, well, we got him. I didn't, wasn't really banking on that we'd make that shot, but we made it. Alright. We have more people running out, or is that it for now? Alright, let's switch back to our handy-dandy axe. Oh, no, I see another guy. Uh, three. Gotta remember what everything is on. Oh, hey, he saw me. But we took him out. We're good. Okay. Do we have any other bad? Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be more. And uh, we're just at too far of a distance for them to spawn in just yet. So we're going to hop down here. We have another outhouse. And here's Summersville Docks. So this, these are the docks to... Um, let's just sit, yeah. Docks to the lake here. Or once was a lake here. Ooh. Sweet tato stew. We'll take that recipe. I mean, we don't really... We, we've been collecting all the recipes, but we really haven't been making anything. Um, I typically, in my playthroughs, I don't really make stuff. Like, unless it's just easy things like... Getting some meat and grilling up some meat. 
that's pretty much the only time that I make stuff. Or if it's, you know, water or something like that, then I'll do it. Of course, I have to reload. Got him. Who's, killing, who's shooting at us now? Ah, you're out there. Alright. So that's one of the docks. Actually, we could go out this way and we could get a better view. So as you can see, the water was a much, much higher up before. Oh, there's a rat down there. Where'd he go? Got him. Okay, oh! Kick the can. This next one has fallen down the hill here. Its support beams must have given out. So we'll come down here and take a look, see. Some duct tape, some big tires. And this is the guy we killed. You're now over encumbered. Nope, we took this guy out too. And we have a settler down here. Who unfortunately did not make it. Oh my god. Don't know where he came from. A little breakfast area over here. Here's another recipe. Mutant Hound Stew. I will take that. Um, a little cooking station, I guess. Not really a breakfast area. Just a cooking station, so... Some whiskey. Ooh, there's a bag up there. What do we got in the bag? Just some pre-war money. Alright. What do we have in the, in the boat? Anything? Of course we're over encumbered, so... It's gonna be a little bit... Take a little bit more time to get around here. Ooh, we do have a explosives crate. Okay, I think we can head back up and check out the next pier. It looks like there's maybe two more that we have to check out, and then we'll keep on moving on. Alright. Another little gas sign here. Or is that coolant? It's the coolant sign, yeah. I don't know if that's for, because it looks like their boats are gas powered. Oh, there's a Tinker's workbench in there. Definitely want to use that. So let's get in here. What's that bag of cement? Oh, super helpful for uh, camp building. Definitely take that. Multi-purpose axe, I will take that as well. Anything in here? No, I hear someone else outside, for sure. I see him over there, too. Alright, get rid of that. Get rid of that, for sure. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, that brings us down. So we got we did unlock a long scope for our uh, hunting rifle. So we could utilize that. Okay, we're not going to go that way just yet. We have to come back and explore this one first. Alright, anything in here? Oh, we have to unlock it. Okay, not, not a big deal. We got it. We're on top of this. Oh, rat roach. Some ammunition. Anything else in here? Some whiskey, rum, and then a steamer trunk here with uh, just some ammo. So nothing too crazy. Oh, I see there's some more ammo over on that side as well. Let's grab that. 
44 round. I will take some of those. Take a little sip here. Mm. Speaking of taking a sip, our character needs some uh, some aguar. Give him some uh, food as well since we're in here. And some boiled water. There we go. Now let's do uh, put it oh, right away on. There we go. That way it will get rid of those radiation points that we had build up and our health will regen a little from that food that we ate so all right it looks like we have a little shop here maybe of some kind there's a cooking station in here someone did not do their dishes look at all those dishes piled up Ooh, some ammunition 10 mil round i will take those iguana bits actually i'll take those Boiled water. Ooh, mentats. I will take. Nothing in that metal box. Duct tape. Handmade glue. Bag of cement. I will take. More duct tape. Salisbury steak. Ooh, bobblehead caps. Interesting. Uh, when used, you're twice as likely to find better cap stashes for one hour. Huh. I don't think I have ever found that bobblehead playing this game. And maybe it's like a default spawn here. Maybe it just always spawns here. And I just never really fully explored here, which it could be the case. Um, but yeah, I don't think I've ever found that. I've ever seen that before. That's so weird. I mean, it's cool, but... It's also weird. All right, it seems like this is the last one. There's some stuff underneath that we could go take a look at as well. Chessboard, an empty metal bucket. All right, let's open this last one. Anything good in here? <clears throat> Squirrel on a stick, an enamel bucket. Nah, not too much in there. Okay. So that's about it for this location. We can hop down here. Oh, we do have a settler down here. Did not make it. Um, rad roach in there, and we do have a first aid kit. With nothing in there. Nothing extra, I should say. There were some goodies in there. Anything underneath the pier that we should care about? There's a gate here. It's quite interesting that there's a gate here. Oh, here's another um, explosives crate. Let's unlock this. There we go. Oh, there's a beer. Let us, uh, let's have that beer. That will increase our carrying capacity a little bit. What's going on out there? It looks like we have some some ghouls. Ghouls. Ooh, a ton of ghouls. Holy smokes. Tons of ghouls. Dead Brahmin. Can we take him out? Do it. Of course. I hear someone running. Thought I heard someone running. That guy's running towards us. Oof, we're having a rough day here. Come on, one of these shots has to hit. Okay, oh, yeah. skip it, skip it. Did not work the way I wanted it to. See, I really enjoy... What is that? 
Oh, it's a hand. Uh, I was like, what the? Oh, oh my god. I never saw this before. This guy, it must have, it had to have been pre-war. Um, look at his feet are encased in cement. And then they must have dropped him into the water and he drowned. And now that the water's gone, you can actually see the body and everything. Jeez, that is, that's tough. That's a rough way to go. Okay. Let's take a look at the map here. We probably could get into Charleston at the very least. We're already 30 minutes in, so we do have some time. Nice boat right there. Let's head up to the main road here. Um, like I said, some of these locations we'll come back in and visit um, at a different time. So. We will keep on the main road. There is an airport up there that we could go take a peek at. It also has a, um, a workshop that we could claim up there. But I'm not super into the workshop, so but that's just pers that's me personally that I don't like it. And there is Charleston. That's the Capitol building right there. Um, we're going to take a pit stop in whatever this place is. Seems like an unmarked location. Some kind of generator. Power generator area. Oh. Oh no, okay, we gotta reload. Got him. Alright, so just a few bad guys in here. Come on, you coming in? Where are you going? There we go. I wasn't expecting that because usually they get aggravated and come out and attack you right away. And uh, those guys did not. Oh, okay. There's a little Protectron bottle. That's cool. We'll take that. Ooh, the power plant. Let's take a read. The hydroelectric plant powered a lot of Charleston. A little ironic for coal country, I always thought. They were so close to getting it back up and running when it all happened. R. Yes. When it all went down. And like I said, we will... Can I jump this? Oh, there's that. We will learn more about what happened as we get closer to Charleston. And we have discovered the Summersville Dam. Oh, it has lit a blaze on the, on the dam. I don't really want to jump into any explosions, so let's uh, make sure we're covered here. Oh, that was booby trapped. Okay, scorched. Nothing on them. Oh, we got some baddies way downtown. You see them way over there? Um, what was it? Alt. Reload here. And taken out. Alright, I think we picked off most of them. So we shouldn't run into too many bad guys when we get over that way. Do have some ammo here. Okay. Else too crazy. There's a do short double barrel shotgun set up for a trap. Oh, I see. There's a tripwire here. I don't know how we. It doesn't look like it's activated. So. A raider corpse. Alright, let's hop over here. Cursed. Let's take a read. 
Hold the short straw with this guard duty. This place gives me the creeps. Sure, the water's almost all gone, but that doesn't change the fact we flooded this whole city not too long ago. Cynthia always told me each murder brings you a ghost that follows you. I don't mind having a few, even a dozen, but this many? This ain't right. Or it ain't right. Oh, okay, so it's just instantly night now for some reason. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, okay. So I, I thought we would get more into it when we get to uh, into Charleston, but they started alluding even more to it here. So basically, high-level story of what happened is there was this dam here, and uh, it obviously was keeping a lot of the water back it was keeping a lot of the water in this retention lake behind it and uh the hydroelectric pump or generator was powering most of the city and that's what it was alluding to in that um in that little building that we were in with that note is that they almost had it back up and running but what happened is the raiders got their hands on some nuclear weapons left over um from the war this is post bomb fall and they um, put them in the dam and they blew up the dam and what happened is all the water came out and it washed the whole entire city away so as you can see originally it just used to be this small stream that went through either that way or i'm not 100 percent sure on on exact geographic um location for that original little stream that would go through here when the dam was here but obviously it was not that crazy and it didn't um make this much erosion so what happened is when the raiders blew the dam all of the water in the lake behind it flooded out and it destroyed the city and as you can see this building here it got a big brute force from it there's tons of uh, erosion and wash away just tons of debris and yeah, so the whole entire city got, got washed away, basically, or just destroyed. And so that guy was, that raider was alluding to how many people then died in Charleston because they blew the dam. And it would have been a lot because it was a hub um, for a lot of people post bomb fall. So, oh, looks like we have a Grafton monster down there fighting some super mutants. Okay, let's take a quick peek at our map here. We found the dam. We do want to go that way into Charleston. So I'm thinking we'll loop back on this side and go into Charleston, not this way. So let's go back across the dam and then, yeah, we'll start making our way down. Jump over this. There is some uh, raider walkways down there that we could explore, but once we get down into the basin down there, we will explore a little more of that, so. We are also still over encumbered, so it would be nice to find some kind of workstation to get rid of some stuff. Otherwise, we're going to be, it's going to be slow moving for a little bit. Take some uh, sips of my tea here. We do have the Wade Airport, which I was just talking on, how there is a workshop up there that we could go and find. Um, but obviously we're not going to worry about it for now. Squirrel bits, gold pocket watch, I will take that for sure. And some of that stuff. So, we shall keep on moving. We do have... Can't even re Apartments. Oh, it took me a hot minute. There are some apartments that we could go and explore right there. Uh, an unmarked location. This is the Capitol building right here for Charleston, so this is our ultimate goal right here.
And the one thing about Charleston, as you could kind of already tell by those um, that fight going on back there, it is populated by super mutants. So we're gonna have to definitely fight our way through here. Um, as we go to explore more and as we make our way towards the hospital over here to study um, Dr. Hudson's research. But oh, we're 50 over our carrying capacity. I did not realize that. So, But for now, I'm going to call it an episode, a little bit shorter episode this time around. Um, just because I want to save the next episode to be strictly about finding Charleston. So stay tuned for that episode. Um, it's going to be really good. I think we'll dive more into the ruins here and see what we can find and hopefully make our way over to the medical center to find that research. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below or better yet, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. If you want to follow along with this series or anything else that gets posted to the channel, which as of right now isn't too much, so it's mainly Fallout 76, but anyway, feel free to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. It'll let you know every single time I post a new episode to the channel. But other than that, guys, thank you much. Thank you so much for sticking through to the end. I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks. Bye.